Hey guys, it's Fantastic Mr. Fab here, and we're playing Incursion. I will be posting the link in the bottom so you guys can see the game itself. The game by Peter Moorhead. Moorhead. Text based adventure for the new age. Incursion. It's a calm night. The stars shine out against the dark sky. Only the sounds of insects can be heard. First things first, what's your name? Huh. What? First things first, what's your name? Lucas. No. Let's pick a very fitting name for our hero. There's a very fitting name for him. Pleased to meet you, Link Wannabe. Perhaps that's a bit formal. Do you have a nickname? No. Let's just say no. I say Link, actually. Yes, Link. That's a lot better. Well, I should probably introduce myself. I'm the narrator for this game. Technically, I don't exist. Yeah, I know, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? But anyway, enough about me, let's talk about you. You live here, in the quiet town of... Oh, what was it called again? It's not Bindwood, that's for sure. It's called Pallet Town. Yes, that's right, Pallet Town. Did I just misspell that? Anyways, well, we live here in Pallet Town with a few other people, mostly farmers. This town is out in the safe lands, beyond the deep dark forest, which is sort of boring. Luckily, Link, you are venturing out in the world tomorrow. But first of all, I need to explain a few things to you. First up, saving the game. Pretty straightforward. You can save manually by pressing the escape key and using the save menu. That's the bit at the top with the little pictures in it. To load up a previous game, just select load from the main menu and select a file. The game will also save automatically for you at regular intervals, so don't panic if you forget. Secondly, as you've already seen, many characters in the game will ask you questions. While you're the first NPC I've actually came in contact with. It's important that you pay attention and answer them properly since what you see may change what happens in the game. It could end in different ways, for example. I hope it does anyway. I mean, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> Finally, is the rollback feature, but you might already know about it. I don't know. Do you want me to explain rollback? Yeah, sure, old man, you can do that. Explain, I don't know what rollback is. Don't explain, I know all about rollback. Rollback is easy. It allows you to reload text you've missed or change something you've said just by scrolling with the mouse wheel or using the page up and page down keys. Try it now. Roll back and answer my previous question differently now that you know.
that's a pretty cool feature. Okay, so you know how to use rollback. That's it for now. You better go. You better go get some rest. I'll talk to you again whenever it's time to leave. All right, so Link and I will now. Whoa, what was that? The sun is high in the sky. The fresh scents of farmland gently upon the early morning breeze. It's a Mr. Narrator again. So that's pretty cool. Hello again, Link. I see you're well rested. It's almost time to leave now. I must say, I'm actually rather proud of you, Link Wannabe. <laughs> It seems only moments ago when you began playing. They grew up so fast. In any case, Link, it's time for some serious gameplay started. Let's go! He walks really slowly. After a long day of traveling, you finally reach the mysterious mountain. The sun high in the sky when you began your journey is now just falling below the line of the horizon. The forest is calm and quiet below you, birds ceasing their chirps and squawks, replaced by the gentle sound of owls hooting. Uh, look at the owl's eyes, man, it's really creepy. Phew, I'm exhausted. It looks so much closer from Baltam. Okay, Link. So here we are at the mysterious mountain. Hmm. Perhaps you could do with a better name. What should we call it, Link? Mount Hope? No. Let's not call it Mount Hope. Is that how you spell Sauron? Kind of catchy, don't you think, Link? Well, anyway, we need to find somewhere to settle down for the night. It's getting dark already. Spooky vagina cave. I know. Isn't it terrifying, Link wannabe? Hey, Link. I found something strange in this cave. It's this little rectangular thing with, um, well, <coughs> sorry. It's difficult to describe, actually. You ought to come inside and have a look. This picture is so terrifying. It's a computer. It's a really old computer. See, a little box at the top of the stairs. I've never seen anything like it. What just happened? I'm scared, Link. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh man. What was that? Don't make any sound. Maybe it hasn't seen us. What's going on? I don't like this. Link, we must get out of here. We must leave. We must be. Okay. Greetings, Link. I am the ancient consciousness that watches over all the worlds in existence. Your people may have. Your people have many names for me. So call me what you will. I speak to you now because I must ask a great deal of you. Link, you are not from this world, but both this world and your world are in grave danger. There is a rip in the fabric of existence, a tear through which you have entered this world. You did not pass through this rip alone. A number of artifacts from your world have fallen through with you. The objects through this which I am communicating with you now is one of these artifacts. There are several more 
and their very presence here threatens to pull this world and your world apart. The only way to prevent this is to find all the artifacts and use their combined power to return them and you home. This is what you must do. Find the other artifacts, Link. Wanna be. Save this world. Save your world. Fulfill your destiny. Level complete. Artifact found. No secret found. 90% complete. So I'm wondering what I messed up on. So we finished that. So we can go, I'm gonna go to the one with the guitar. Cause I like guitars. As the light of the day cools and fades and fireflies circle silently above the water's edge, Link Wannabe discovered a quite peaceful look. Lake, sorry. It doesn't look as though there's much here though. Wait. What's that sound? So the main character is very confused all the time. So do I get to control him now? How very odd. Come back, Link. Or at least wait for me. <laughs> so I'm not controlling him at all. At all. Like, it just moves on its own. I just choose the dialogue, I assume. What a peculiar little island. I don't think anyone has been here for a very long time. Do you think we should name it, Link? The Forgotten Isle. No. Hmm, yes. I think I too wish I was Link. It's a fitting name. Anyhow, what I'm really curious about here is the arc structure. I'm certain it isn't Elven architecture. It's also far too old to have been made by the dwarves. To be honest, I have no idea well who built it. I'm going to have a closer look at it. You probably shouldn't do that. Yes, this is far, far too old to be dwarven. In fact, this is one of the oldest relics I've ever seen. It's older than any race of creatures I know. Terrifyingly impossibly old. Don't go any closer, man. I knew it. Never listen to me. I love how you slowly walk towards it. Link Wannabe, what is this place? I'm so scared. Let's go back quickly. What is that thing? Link Wannabe. Let's get out of here. It's coming closer. Please, Link, wannabe. We have to go. I grow tired of your inane, babbling old man. Yep. Being a statue should make you marginally less irritating. Sadly, it won't do him any permanent harm, but at least gives us some peace and quiet. Allow me to introduce myself.
I am the Lich King. Come along now. You and I have some things to talk about. Oh, him? Don't worry. I'll have a minion bring him along for you. <laughs> that is quite funny. I hope you'll excuse the decor. We mustn't judge solely on appearances. This is my realm, a parallel island. It is similar to, but in many ways, the polar opposite of the one you just discovered. The Ark you found was a portal built in the early days. Ordinarily, the portal does not appear to everyone and does not appear all the time. But on this very special occasion, I decided to make an exception. You, Link Wannabe, are not from this world. But you are a fool if you would believe what the old man and the spirit in the cave say about your coincidental arrival. They know nothing of your true potential and seek only to deceive you. Link Wannabe, I shall tell you the truth. You are a hero prophesized in the early days. You have been brought here in the end days to tip balance of light and darkness, destroying one of the two forever. The others know of this already, but have chosen not to tell you. Why do you think that could be, Link Wannabe? It's because they have chosen to manipulate you into aligning with their cause. What I offer you, you Link Wannabe, is the freedom to choose your own path. All I ask in return is that you make me an ally. Bring me the artifacts, and I shall return you home. Here, as a token of my faith. Is it an acoustic guitar? Yes, I think so. Wait, no, that looks electric. I shall give you one of the artifacts you seek. I've been keeping it here for you safely. If you make the right decision, I will also make the others easier for you to retrieve. So what is your choice like, wannabe? Will you join me? Yes, I will join you, my king. No, nope. I will never join you. Let's join him. Watch choice as expected. I shall be seeing you soon. Stupid foolish child, get out of my sight. You should have known better than to cross me. I think I must have blacked out for a second after we crossed the bridge there, Link Wannabe. Anyway, I told you there wasn't much here. At least we got that artifact though. Come on, let's get going. So, he's gonna put that into his backpack and the level ends. Which is, I don't know, I like, I like this game, I enjoy it. Level complete. Artifact found. No secret found. 90% complete. Everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe, share, favorite, and do anything you can just to get the word out about what we do here. And uh, if you enjoyed this game, there will be another part when it is released because the demo isn't finished apparently or, or something like that. People who made the game are these three guys, and they're pretty cool for making this game, and I enjoyed it a lot. See you guys in the next one. Thanks. Goodbye.